So this is the first part of the process and it's all about quantity, not quality. The objective here is to essentially flush all your ideas that you might already have in your head and uh, hopefully create something more unique and original. I like to use Krita as my sketching tool. I usually start with a uh, gray color background and then start painting some silhouettes with pure black on a new layer, uh, just using a hard brush, something you know very simple. And just keep in mind, these are very, very sketchy silhouettes, right? Don't worry about refining anything at this stage. The purpose of this thumbnailing process really is just to generate a good variety of ideas and uh, you know perhaps focus on the primary forms and the proportions of the character. So in this case, I want to go for a stylized space traveler type of creature. So there's a lot of room to play with, you know, proportions or exaggerated uh, limbs and, you know, big heads and that sort of thing. Some of these tiny sketches might not work at all, and some of them might give you, uh, you know, some new ideas. So the key here is not to spend more than a few seconds on each iteration. So if something doesn't really work, just move on to the next sketch. If something does work or you think it's something cool um, that you want to work on, also move on and try it in the next one. Another important thing to keep an eye on as you work on these silhouettes is the pose. Some sketches here are hunched forward a bit, some of them have more of a heroic pose with a chest pushed forward, and it's all about getting the gesture with these simple silhouettes. Once you have completed all these tiny silhouettes, and by the way, this could be um, after you've done 50 or 100 of these, you can go ahead and duplicate the layer and enable the alpha clip. Different software might have a different terminology for this, but this is basically to restrict whatever you paint onto these silhouettes to the outline of them. So essentially clipping anything that you paint on to the outline of that alpha. Now with a custom brush that I created in Krita that has a bit more of that wet mixing uh, quality to it, I used a lighter tone to shade these silhouettes and start to generate that illusion of volume. Once again, the purpose of this second pass is just to generate quick ideas based on the silhouette while keeping things very loose. And to be honest, even at this very rough level of polish, you know, these are just very tiny sketches, you can start to define different materials for your silhouettes just by adding and, and playing around with the values. So for example, to suggest a metallic or a shinier surface, uh, you can use more contrast and use a lighter tone with sharper lines or more specular definition. And another good tip that I can give you for this part of the process is to stick to large brushes so that you're not tempted to detail anything and all the focus is on the volumes. Let the silhouettes that you created before dictate what could be inside of it. Since I'm using the alpha clip of the layer, I'm constrained to that black silhouette that I created, but I can do whatever I want inside that outlined space. At the end, you can go ahead and choose one of the thumbnails or just filter down a few of the thumbnails that you think have potential and make them larger to refine them further, just so that they have more information so that you can use them as reference for your sculpting process.